goes in there. Receptionists, settlers, like you guys join. Okay. I was right about you. Yeah, with the mercenaries aren't. Um. Any idea what I can do to help? We could use people handy. We also that. got a lot of things. Oh, it's the, the same stuff. Okay. It doesn't respond differently. What's involved in finalizing? Inspecting the perimeter. I fought in a war or two, but I'm no general. In my experience, people like you are better at strategy. You want a hand in making the plan, you got it. Ah, whatever. Okay. I'm ready to finalize. You sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. I'm certain. All right. Then we got a lot to do. No turning back now. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. Uh... Well, what's the plan? The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunda's defenses. It isn't going to be easy. I suspect we're going to have to fight on the inside. They've got three entrances they're going to try and break in. Here's the front door, the security door on the side, and the garage door in back. We got three squads of militia. We can assign people to the front, back, or inside. Backside has to guard two entrances. The front will have to fight more people, and the inside will have to deal with any that break through. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? Uh... Back by the garage. The battles that had the least dying were always led by Jedi. I'm gonna go with what you think. Where do you want the second squad? Uh, inside by the administrator's door. All right. Where do you want the third squad, the new recruits? Main entrance with me. Fine by me. The last question is, where do you want to go? Either the front or the back. I'll take whichever one you don't. That way both sides have leadership. I'll take the front. That's what I was thinking too. The main group of mercenaries will be coming through there. Probably be good to put our best soldier there. Once the fighting starts, you gotta stay in your area. We both have to guard our half of the battlefield. Come over to me and the mercs will just charge straight into Kunda. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Okay. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Have you talked to the men? Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. Uh, perhaps some encouragement. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. Um, uh, friends and family are counting on them. You're much better with words than me. I think it'll really help. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. Okay, how's that? Cool. If we fall here, all of Dan Twin falls with us. Maybe get light side points for that, or maybe they just fight Tell better. Tell me what you see, soldier. They're mobilizing the militia. Looks like a lot of activity down there. They've been warned. It won't be of any use. The plan doesn't change. Captains, prepare your men. Their leader, Administrator Tarina, must not survive the battle. Everything else is secondary to that objective. Here they come. Turrets are working. They come out. Go. All right, we want you, and we'll take you since you're both Jedi. Actually, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, we, we did just turn you into a Jedi. So we'll... All right, big fight. We need master speed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Let handle the last guy. Didn't even trip them on. Oh, they tripped them on the side of the fence. Second wave. Soldiers, fall back inside. So you are the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. Uh, you can still back away. You have no idea who you're talking to. I was going to spare your worthless life. I see I was in error. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. I didn't sign on for this cold-blooded slaughter, Asko. I was wondering when you would betray me, Dopak. I'll send your final wages to your children, along with a detonator. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. Okay, here we go. Uh, we need buffs. And... We don't really want to be fight. so much for your aid. Get you can be sure that Dondoin will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this place. Uh, happy to help. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. Uh, yeah, keep the credits. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Dantooine will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. And there we go. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about talking. whatever you wish. Um, where are all the Jedi? There are a few of us left. I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We've been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. Okay, where are these other Jedi? We have chosen to hide our presences from each other so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. There must be a way to assemble them. We cannot. And we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. And what then? Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. Okay, something else? Do you have more questions for me? Uh, at the end of my trial, you and the other masters said something had happened to me. You have seen the end of your trial? 
Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge. I heard it on a hollow transcript. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. Yeah, don't you think I have the right to know? There is yeah. little I can tell you. Master Kavar felt something had happened to you in the war, but all he had was suspicions, not truths. And Kavar was too close to you in any event. He, too, felt the call of war and took to battle more than a Jedi should. His speculations would not help you now, but enough of this. It is knowledge for the Council alone until they choose to reveal it. Do you have more questions for me? Um... Do you know anything about force bonds? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you have bonded with another? I... Uh, yeah, and it's, it's pretty bad. Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Uh, yeah, I can... Use Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. Do you have more questions for me? Uh, the Sith have revealed themselves. Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Ah, uh, they attacked me. Why would they attack you? There are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. Ah, uh, they may, they believe me to be a Jedi. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there we may decide what can be done. Do you have more questions for me? Uh, I think that's it. Okay. I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. I'm only going to demonstrate this once. This is the Sheen form, a defensive stance that's good when you're outnumbered, which is most of the time. This form will increase your ability to deflect blaster fire, and then increases the odds of dealing critical strikes against your attackers. I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. All right, and we got a short lightsaber, cool. Something you need of- Disciple, you gotta level up. Beast. Hmm, what do we want to give you? Master Toughness wouldn't be too bad. Anything that really helps with... Worse stuff. Ah, okay, we'll give you Toughness. Sure, why not? Two powers. Valor and anything else that helps others revitalize may not be too bad. Or you know what, force wave. Yeah. Good crowd control. So 
14, uh, 15. Oh, wait, actually 15, yeah. Or level 16. Okay. Oh, and we're back to maxing out light side. Me? Cool. And quest wise, lost Jedi and find a new fuel source. All we have left.